Hey guys, how are we going? In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I turned $500 into $3,720 in my very first month of phone flipping so you guys can see how I did it so you can replicate it for your same and achieve the same. Feel free to pause the video and read all this. It's my very first month, which I tracked all on Google Sheets. And we've got my very first two phones ever posted, as you can see with the dates, 30th of November 2021, 27th of November 2021, and also just another photo. And this video is for people who are trying to make good money and don't want to go down the traditional route of a shitty nine to five or going to university to one day get a job that really just pays like shit. And if so, this video will be very, very, very valuable for you as this is the info what got me started on my journey of farm reselling and ultimately led up to the point where I've made over $250,000 in profit at only 18 years old. You know, I'm not working a shitty nine to five. I don't go to university. I On the phone flipping, I'm really working an hour or two a day. Now have the freedom to do whatever the fuck I want, whenever the fuck I want. Like, you get me, you get me. And this info I've shared with multiple other people to get them started on their own phone flipping journey and are now making more than fucking doctors do. And it only took them like a month or two of learning compared to doctors four to eight years, I think it is, and like 500k of student debt. Yeah, stupid, right? So we got Troy, $15,000 in four weeks. Then we've got Levi, who $1,000 a day, and like he gets these quite often. I'm sure you guys see my stories. We've got Bradley, $29,000 in three months profit. He also quit his six-figure job because he was making that much money. Then we also got Jesse, who one of my newest mentorship students. He's been in here for like, he's been a mentor, he's been a student for two weeks now, and he's already done $950 in a single day, which no, you can't find a job that really pays that. So if you find this shit valuable, could you please leave a like so this reaches as many people as possible so I can help as many people as possible. But anyway, the actual strategy, let's get to it. So I started and I only had $500 to flip phones with because you know, I was working a job, I was getting paid like shit. I only had $500. Yes, I could have probably put some more into it, but you know, like when you're starting something new, you don't really want to risk that much. You know, everybody doesn't really risk that much, but I had $500 to work with. So yeah, and because of this, I didn't want to flip just any iPhone. I didn't just want to go pick up one iPhone, like an iPhone 12 Pro Max for $500. You, you know what I'm saying? I wanted to pick up multiple phones. So I've got like, I'm not putting all my eggs in one basket because if I just buy one phone for $500 to flip it for $700, I got to wait for that phone to sell. Where if I buy, for example, four phones for let's say $125 each, I don't have to wait for all four phones to sell. I can wait for one to sell, then pick up another. I can wait for two to sell and pick up another two or three, however many, depending on how much I sell it for. So, because of that, I focused on flipping the iPhone models like iPhone 8s, iPhone 8 Pluses, iPhone X, iPhone XS, XR, XS Max, all the X models, iPhone 11, iPhone 11 Pro, 11 Pro Max, all the 11 models, and then only iPhone 12 base models, and if I found one, an iPhone 12 mini, but they're quite rare. So I would not bother with the iPhone 12 Pros or iPhone 12 Pro Maxes. The reason why I say those, like the iPhone 8, X, 11, and 12s, is because they are cheap enough where you can buy multiple of them with your $500, like what I did, I could buy multiple of them, so not all my eggs are in one basket, whilst still being you know, a good enough phone where I could flip it and still profit 100 to $200 per one. So it was like the ideal phone for me to flip, so it would also be the ideal phone for you to flip. Then I figured out the market value of these phones, and it's pretty simple figuring out market value I've also got a little freebie here to help you guys. But the way I figured out market value, because no, I did not have this because I made this. So when I first started, the easiest way to figure out market value is, I'll also show you a quick example. Um, let me just move my thing there. Let me just search up iPhone 11, 64 gigabyte. You really just want to, you really just want to um, find the average price that everybody else is selling at because you've got to think in the usual average marketplace buyer's brain. They search up iPhone 11 and there is 10 iPhone 11s for sale and seven of them are the same price. They're going to think that's the market value and you should think the same because if everybody else is going to think like that, then they're also going to be okay with buying at those prices. So it's going to be the market value. So search up iPhone 11, we've got 300, 380, 300, 350, 300, 380, 300, 300, 380, 350, 350, and that is basically majority of them. 350 again. Like so, we've seen a lot of 300s, 350s, and 380s. So 
Look, 300 I would say is a little bit too low because there's still some selling at 380. So I would say right now, 350 would be a completely safe like buying, like selling price. Meaning as long as you're getting it for 250, you're going to make a profit no matter what. So that is how you calculate market value. But like I said, I've got a little freebie for you here. I've got my little, um, what do you want to call it? Live market value tracker. It covers in like majority of my audience's currencies, USD, Great British Pound, Euro, Australian, Can Canadian. And it pretty much shows you the average selling price of absolutely every phone and every model and every storage space and all that stuff. This is not in cracked condition, just like no cracks, just average selling prices. I've gotten this stuff from my own, my own like selling, like what I know, and also my students because I got students all over the fucking world. It just, I've tracked it all, chucked it all on a sheet for you guys. I'm going to link this in the description for you. Absolutely anyone can have it. It is for free. So just go grab it in the description. It's going to help you. I mean, look, it is a rough estimate. I can't just go to every single country in the whole wide world and sell a phone and every single phone model to no. So pretty much it's like it's like a rough estimate. So I guess let's say we look at USD, iPhone 12 for 280. Just assume it's going to be between 260 and 300. So as long as you get it at 200 or below, you're going to be in a good profit. So it's just like that. Okay, and then... Once I understood market value and how much they sell for, I then did this to find phone models for under market value so then I could flip them for a profit. This is how I found those under market value phones. First of all was the checking marketplace method. This one I am on a computer so it is a bit hard to show because I'm going to assume 99% of you guys will be doing this on your phone because you don't actually need a laptop for this. Legit, you just search up iPhone and you see all the new ones. The top ones are usually the new ones and if you're doing it on the computer, just refresh your feed every 20 minutes if you're just chilling at home. The top ones will be all the new ones, and these are where you usually find the cheap phones, the phones that are listed under market value because maybe somebody you know wants to sell it quickly, or maybe somebody doesn't know the price, or maybe somebody just chucked it up blindly. You guys know what I mean. I'm sure you've seen cheap things on Facebook Marketplace before. But it's just like that. You refresh it every 20 minutes, or if you're on your iPhone and you search up like so if you search up on your marketplace on your iPhone, I'll even try to show it up for you guys. Um, if you search up iPhone, the next time you go to the search bar, underneath the word iPhone, it'll say plus one since you last searched. If you guys can see in there, see that little, it's reversed right now, but do you see that little blue thing right there? That says plus one since you searched. So if you just go to your Facebook marketplace search bar, and every 20 minutes to check and go, oh, it says plus one since search. You then click on it and it'll show you listings added since searched. So if you check every 20 minutes to see if another one's been added, that is the fastest way to see all the new phones that are listed. And you just do that. You keep doing that until you eventually find one and you will eventually find one. There is like hundreds of phones posted a day, dependable on when you, where you live, but so many phones are posted every single day from people trying to sell them because they upgraded or they found it laying around in, in their cupboard. So there is so many of them out there. People are posting them up all the time and you know people are dumb and they don't know the prices and so they list them up for cheap. Obviously, more people are going to list them up for the market value than people are going to list up for cheap. But there's a strategy for that too, which I will get to. But yes, you just see them for cheap and all you do is, let's say this one's for cheap. Hey, I will pick up right now and pay in cash if pay in cash that's all you're gonna say because it's already cheap you don't need to negotiate anymore it's already cheap so you say that and you go pick it up and you pay in cash because and they're obviously going to sell the phone to you because if it's a cheap phone they're going to have a lot of people knocking on their doors but they're going to sell it to you because you are the easiest and the fastest you're being simple you're like bro i'll come pick it right now i'll pay cash that person going to see your message and be like that guy is so easy to deal with He's an absolute fucking G. You know what I mean? So obviously they're going to want to deal with you than some dickhead yapping in their ear going, oh, what's this, what's that, what's this, what's that? Because nobody likes to deal with idiots. You get me? <laughs> so it's just like that. Um, but yeah, that's all you got to do. Pretty simple. Or oh, if you cannot pick up, just say, hey, I will pay your asking price if you could drop off to... Or if you really want to secure it, hey, I will pay you an extra $20 if you could drop off to. No, no, no. You may be thinking, and also say I'll pay in cash. And you may be thinking, oh, um, 
what's it called? What if they, what the fuck? Um, oh, $20, like, oh, that's biting into my profits. Shut the fuck up. You're not leaving your house. You message someone, one minute of work. They come to your house. You check the phone. You buy the phone, two minutes of work. You list it up for sale, one minute of work. You sell it like two, three days later, one minute of work. You basically, let's say it was $200 profit on the phone. You gave them another $20 to drop it off. You just made $180 sitting in your motherfucking bed after 10 minutes of work. And you want to complain? You're obviously not here to win, my boy. Just how it be sometimes. Now, but all fucking seriousness, like, me personally, I don't really drive to pick up phones. I always offer $20 to deliver for someone to deliver it to me. Because I just don't want to leave my home. Like, I've got better shit to do, you feel me? So, <laughs> that sounds crazy. But yeah, you just do that. And also another thing to keep in mind, people might just not be able to deliver. And if you can't pick up, they can't deliver. Boo-hoo. Shrug your shoulders, move on with life. You know, it's not really that bad. You ain't lost no money. You get me? Uh, so yeah, that is it. Now it's time to talk about the outreach method. My favorite method. The most consistent method. The method that is the method to the madness or some shit like that. Whatever the saying is. It is amazing. So, it's the same with the other one, right? So, you click on Facebook Marketplace search bar. You see plus one since searched. You then see plus one since searched. You click on it. Oh, no. It's just an average valued phone. Or, oh, it's only $20 below market value. Or, don't be a pussy. Do this. You just message them. Hey, I will pick up and pay in cash if you would take. And then state your price which you want to buy at, whether it's $100 below what they listed at, $50 below what they listed at, whatever it is. Obviously, don't lowball them by $300. No one's going to say yes to you because that's fucking annoying. But yes, you legitimately just say that. Uh, hey, I'll pick up right now and pay in cash if you would take yada, yada, yada. Simples. You just message that to every single listing. Let's say 100 listings are posted in a day. Five of them are cheap or 10 of them are cheap, right? There's 90 other listings you can message to. So many people are negotiable on Facebook Marketplace, especially if you're showing them on the first hand that you're an easy person. You're, you're going to be fast. You're going to be simple. You're not going to piss them off. You're not going to bother them. You're not going to nag them. You get me? So people are going to be negotiable off that. Not everyone's going to be negotiable, but it's something like 30% of people will take off 50 like $100 off. And that is just what I've personally found. Like, I'm pretty sure like 50 to 60 to 70% of people will take $50 off their phone. Like, even that. Like, every single time I see a phone that I just need another $50 off, like, 9 out of 10 times I ask for $50 off more, and they say yes. Because they're fucking... You're being easy. And now let's also talk about, again, if you cannot pick up and you just need them to deliver. You can still message them, hey, would you deliver if you do that price? Yes, the success rate is going to be lower, but it's still the same fucking scenario as the last one. You're just messaging one minute of messaging. That's all you got to do. And for anyone going, oh, but then I'll just make less money. When I turn $500 into $3,700, your boy could not drive. Your boy was motherfucking like 16 or 17. 16, 16 or 17. I couldn't drive. I didn't make no excuses for myself. And, oh, I can't drive. I can't make money. I'm a pussy. I'm a... I'm a dickhead fam. No, I didn't do that. I just sent the damn messages and shit worked out. That's all you gotta do. <laughs> Fuck, but I swear I'm turning autistic or something. But that's all you gotta do. It's pretty simple. Uh, there's honestly not much more to be said than you just message these people with what I've just told you guys. They say yes, they say yes. You organize it. Easy done, light work, make some goddamn fucking money there were two like walkthroughs i can't remember if i actually just did a walkthrough oh i did you legit just find a listing and let's say you know they say no you refresh it every 20 minutes is there a new listing is there a new listing no there's not so you don't negotiate with them it's pretty simple that is exactly how i found those phones uh that is all i did i didn't even do cash for phone ads at that point right like that is all i did so you could implement cash for phone ads too and do even better. In fact, I actually had a student, George, who is in Australia. Is actually, funny fact, he's only two hours south of me, which is actually quite cool. But he started with like a $500 to $1,000. He turned it into $6,000 in his first month because he implemented these two strategies and cash for finance. He did better than me. So in realistic lists or whatever it's called, he's going to be at like 10K a month within the next fucking month or two. I'm not even kidding. 
So, it's like that, right? Now, anyway, then once I had found an under market value phone, I needed to meet up with a person and actually buy it. You know, organize a time, a place, whatever it is, whether they're dropping it off to you or you're picking it up, whatever it is. But before I actually bought the phone, I made sure to check the phone properly. You need to check the phone properly. Phone reselling is the biggest risk-free side hustle ever if you check the phone. That's all you got to do. The reason why I say that is because once you buy a phone, it is guaranteed to sell. It is impossible to lose your money on selling a phone. Once you buy it, it will 120% sell. The only risk is if you go buy the phone without checking it. You got to check it. Like You will rarely ever find a problem, but just God damn check it. You've got to make sure it's not stolen. You've got to make sure it's logged out of iCloud. You've got to make sure all the functions work. You've got to make sure that it is the same condition and everything's the same as what they stated in their ad. And I'm not going to go over exactly how to do this. I've got a Loom video that's around five minutes long. Uh, five minutes long. I'm a fucking genius, huh? And that will go in depth exactly how to do a check exactly to the T so you check absolutely everything. I'll link this in the description. Yes, it is free. Your boy dropping free sauce like this all the time. Feel me? And then, uh, yeah, then once you've checked it and it's all good, now you have to actually sell the phone. So I was checking something. Now I had to actually sell the phone, right? So got the phone, you know, grabbed some fucking tissue, wiped it, got rid of all the fingerprints, made sure it's all clean. And I took some nice photos on my desk with the natural sunlight or maybe on your kitchen counter or maybe on a cupboard or whatever you decide, get some natural lighting, make the photos look good, you know, take the photos, make sure they can't see the reflection on your face, you know, make sure there's no fingerprints on it, shit like that, make sure, like, just take some good quality photos, one of the front, one of the back, one of the front turned off, one of the front, the one of the back, again, on a side angle, maybe one of them, you holding the phone, one of them holding the other side of the phone, the like a diagonal angle of the phone. Just take some good ass photos, you know what I mean? And then write a title, all that shit, like if it's an iPhone 11, write iPhone 11, 64 gigabyte, perfect condition. Obviously, if it's like scratch the fuck up, don't say that. Just say good condition, decent condition. Should have that, then write a description. I've covered how to write descriptions and how to sell a phone millions of times, but I'm just repeating it for some people who haven't. If you don't know what I'm talking about and you've never heard me talk about selling a phone, Scroll down on my YouTube, there's at least half of them cover exactly how to sell a phone. So, just click on any YouTube video, basically. Um, But what's it called? Yeah, write a description. State how the condition is good. It's stayed in a case in its whole life. Like, has a screen protector on. Shit like that. State that the battery is good and it lasts all day. State that every single function works. Feel free to test all the functions on arrival if you'd like to. Also state that it's iCloud unlocked and just, you know, make the bias feel reassured. The biggest tip I can give you is imagine you were buying a phone on Facebook Marketplace and wanted to feel reassured. Implement that into your ad and make the other person on the other side feel, other side of the phone who is wanting to buy your phone feel reassured that the phone is great, good condition and all that shit. And then I was able to sell my phones so fast on Facebook Marketplace because, number one, my ad was amazing, but that wasn't all. I also listed my phones 20 to $30 below what they are actually worth. So these market values, I purposely listed them 20 to $30 below. You may be like, why are you doing that, you pussy? Well, I'm an actually genius because it would sell within like a day or two. People notice phones are under market value, so they snag them up. So I would sell these phones in a day or two. You get me? And this just sped up the process because I only had $500, remember? Like $500, I can't just go buy 10 phones a day. No. So that $500, I got those two phones, sold them within a day or two. I then had $900. You get what I'm saying? Like it sped up the process so much more so I could keep with that $900, I could then buy four phones. You know, sell those four phones in the next three days. Then I would have $1,500. You get me? You're just selling them quick so you can scale up because honestly, there's no point holding onto phones when you've got barely any phones for like weeks on end because like you don't have fucking time to waste. Selling them for cheaper, you will make more money. You get what I'm saying? Well, at a point like me where I can just go buy 10 phones for the next month and a half in a row, like I just buy 10 phones, 10 phones, 10 phones without even selling any phones, then like that's okay. Like you can keep reinvesting because you have the money to use on phones and then you can start listing your phones at like the perfect prices so they take like a five days to sell. 
So you're, you know, maximizing your profits. But when you're at the start, you can't do that. You've only got $500, for example, to use. So you need to flip them quickly unless you don't want to speed up the process and you just want to wait. Totally up to you. But like, you're kind of just being a dickhead. (laughs) But yeah, I was going to do a walkthrough of listing the phone, but that's just going to bore you guys. There's absolutely no fucking point because you guys have seen me post them heaps of times. But yes, my biggest tip is sell them for $30 below the market value. And another quick tip, make sure to post your um, your Facebook Marketplace listings in 20 groups. When you make a listing on Facebook Marketplace and you click next, you have 20 buy, sell, local, swap groups. Like buy slash sell local groups in your area. If you haven't joined 20 of them, make sure you join 20 of them minimum. You can join 40 if you want. That's up to you. You're going to make more money but 20 groups minimum and you post it in them and also make sure to use tags on your listing make sure to use tags of your iphone iphone models similar to the iphone you're selling and also tags about iphone electronic smartphone cell phone device electronic device just a bunch of tags around the subject and now that is how i flipped each phone so how did i end up getting to 3k other word otherwise known as 3.72k right well I first bought these two phones. These were the exact two phones I bought. $250 each. I sold the 11, which had a cracked lens, for $450. Yes, I probably could have sold it for a bit more at the time. No, they do not go at these prices anymore. This was two and a half years ago. But at the time, I could have probably sold it for $500. But you know what happened? The guy came up and he negotiated with me and was saying he was going to leave. And I got scared because I was starting out. I was a little pussy, but you learn these things. You feel me? So... Yes, I probably could have sold it for more, but still, nonetheless, I profited $200 and I sold it. I sold that one the next day. So that was an amazing $200 in a day. Amazing. Sold the XR, I think it was after like a day or two, maybe even three for $500. Profited $250, just like that. And then what I did to keep scaling from this point was keep doing what I was doing. I didn't just then have $900 and went and bought a 13 Pro Max and sat on it for 10 days because more expensive phones take longer to sell than cheaper phones. Because cheaper phones are more affordable for larger amounts of people. Because obviously, if let's say half the population can afford a $500 phone, obviously not half the population can afford a $900 phone. It would be more like 30%. So that's why these phones sell faster. And they will also sell faster if they're lower market value. So you want to stick to these phones because you can profit good money on them. You can buy multiple of them. They sell quick, especially when you lower the market value. So these are the ideal phones for you. You, I'm being serious right now. You pick up these phones. If I swear to God, if you start with $500 and you go buy a 13 Pro Max and sit on that for 10 days and you cry that your phone ain't selling in my next live Q&A, it's going to be on site, man. I swear to fucking God. Uh, <laughs> Now, nah, all jokes aside, that is what you got to do. You just got to stick to those phones. Maybe once you get to the point where you got like three hundred, three thousand dollars, and you're able, and you know you're sitting on it, you can't find any phones, and you're like, oh look, a thirteen Pro Max comes up for five hundred dollars, six hundred dollars, and you can sell it for eight hundred dollars. Yes, then go buy that phone because you can afford to wait on it because you have more money to buy more phones. You feel me? So that is exactly what I did to keep scaling the point, and it's exactly how you should do it too. And you might be thinking, well, you did this two and a half years ago. That doesn't mean it's going to work today. Well, it still fucking works today. You know why? Because I documented over four weeks, 28 days. Actually, I finished the challenge in 27 days. I turned $1,000 into $10,000 doing this strategy. I documented every single phone, showed proof of absolutely everything, especially in an even more saturated market. There's people, there's like 10 people flipping phones in my bloody area now. You feel me? When I first started, it was just me. Just me. I'm being dead set. It was just me. I started this shit. I built this shit brick by my fucking brick. For real though, like I actually did. Like I low-key shot myself in the foot because I'm like the biggest phone reseller in the whole of the fucking world. Like that's not even like an over-exaggeration. Like, I got like 50k on the gram and like 20k on the, the YouTube. You feel me? So I, I kind of shot myself in the foot. But what I'm trying to say is this shit is still possible. Because I literally did it. Yes, I know a lot more than you guys. And yes, I know a lot more than what I did when I started. But my point is, I did this back in the day and turned $500 into $3,730. I also did it, what, two, three months ago and turned $1,000 into $10,000 in 27 days with this exact same strategy. This is like full bulletproof that if I can do it two times 
with this strategy, there is not a single reason why you cannot do it too. There is not a, like, maybe if you live in, like, a remote town with seven people, like a weirdo, then, yeah, probably not. But, <laughs> fuck. But seriously, what I'm trying to say is, still works to this day. I just wanted to pull this up because it is proof of credibility and hope for you guys. Because if I can do it, you guys definitely can too. I'm just some normal fucking Joe in the end of the day. You can probably tell by how retarded I'm acting. And now for those who actually really want to do good with phone reselling, no, I'm not selling you anything. You know me, boys. I don't, I don't sell shit. I don't chuck money in your face and say, buy my course, buy my course. I don't do that shit. I'm not a pussy, bro. They're, them them weirdos can stay in the back of Instagram. They're fucking annoying as hell. I hate seeing them too, don't worry. But for those who actually really want to do good, I have a completely 100% free phone reselling course that teaches you absolutely everything. You think this was valuable? Wait till you get inside there. That shit is value packed. So it is, yes, like I was saying, very, very valuable. As you can see here, there's six modules that anyone can access. You do need to level up to get the new modules. So, you know, you guys actually put in the work. I'm not just going to give you guys hella valuable shit. Like, like, obviously this is all valuable, but I'm talking like valuable, like shit that I used to sell for $2,000 valuable for free unless you actually put in some work. As you can see, we already got 947 members inside. We got hella people making money. Like, like, let me pull up to the wins. He bought his first phone, 11 for 100 pounds. That's a 100 pound profit. First sale, crazy fine, late night profit. Just, goddamn, bro. And like, I start, I, brother, I started this community a week ago. We already got 950 goddamn members printing money. So it's very good. It's going to be the very first thing in the description. Just, you probably have to make a school account if you don't already have an account on the platform school. Um, then you just click join and I'll accept you as soon as I wake up, if I'm asleep or as soon as I see it. Right, it's pretty simple. It's just like that. And well, boys, hope you guys really enjoyed this video and it was very valuable for you guys. That is how I turned $500 into $3,720 in my very first month of phone flipping as a complete beginner. This is exactly how I did it. So you guys can exactly do it too. Please, if this video was valuable, just drop a like, subscribe, whatever, if you'd like to, if honestly, it's fucking your choice, isn't it? Uh, and comment down below if you got any questions, I'll answer them as soon as I see them. You guys know how I am. Um, and join my phone wrestling community in the link in the description. And other than that, peace out.